Hi everyone. So in this session, we are going to create the 3D model in Creo. So we will start from new. So solid. So this is model six. So I'm giving M zero six. So uncheck this. Use default template. Click OK. So then the units will be in millimeter. So I'm just clicking on this millimeter solid. So now. Uh, I'm going to start my 3D part from here. After completing this, we will go step by step. So, clicking on frame and then click on this sketch. So, first we are going to start our sketch from here. So, I'm going to create a, a circle having a diameter of 65. So, click on this, select center point, position it here, and then select one more circle position it here. Now select the inner one first and then give the diameter as 41.25 enter and then this outer one having a diameter of 65. So click OK. So now we need to extrude it that is having a distance of 34. So click on extrude. So make uh, uh, symmetric with respect to middle plane we need both side equal distance so give 34 enter so now you can select the same plane where we have created the sketch previously so on that sketch we need to make this portion over here after that we can join this over here so for creating that so I'm just going a little bit above so I'm just creating a circle outer and in top also it is having a arc type so that also you can join with the circle itself and then this thing is joined like this a tapered line that is tangentially connected with the circle over here so with this center we need to give the distance as 32 so go to dimension select here and here click give 32 and uh, this circle uh, is having a dia of 50 so click on the circle click over here give 50 fine so this one is having a dia of 28 click over here dia 28 so between this center and this center point we have a distance of 44 click on dimension click over here and here portion it 44 so and this distance is 12 so we need to portion that also so click here in this center point so 12 means it would be 6 so then you can trim this portion over here trim it off then you can trim this portion also so now click on line and join it exactly over here so now trim this as well so now the sketch is completely fine we need to position it with respect to this center it is nothing but 96 so give to dimension click on the center point and this give 96 so now select the sketch then go to mirror then select the center line the object will get mirrored so this has to be extruded having a distance of 50 so click ok then click on extrude same thing change it to center and then give 50 ok and then the middle part we need to connect it over here so go to the same plane and then click on sketch so for joining that just create lines over here straight and then you can mirror it directly with respect to this axis so the distance would be uh, 45 
Okay, sorry, I think we made a mistake. So this has to be 26. In the previous sketch, we need to edit that one. So 26 means this has to be 30. Click OK. And uh, this one is nothing but if you see on top, uh, 45 is the distance. So click over here and then go to edit. So dimension, select this line and this line and give 45. So that's it. But we need to project these things and all. So click on project, select this, this and this and then the circle. So close it and trim the unnecessary parts. So this we don't require this and this Press escape so now it is completely closed click ok so that is having an extrusion of 24 so click on extrude so same middle and then give 24 click ok so this has been created now so now we need to form uh, some sketch over here So for creating that, uh, I'm just going to the side plane, choosing here, click on sketch, okay. So we need to create this portion. So first create the outer one. So that is having a dia of 28. And it is positioned in 96 mm from here, like this. So click OK, and uh, this one has to go. Uh, this is nothing but this one only. So now we are at center, and it goes from here to here 36. The same 36 will go that side also. So click on extrude. So no remove material, we are going to create material only. So middle, so 36 plus 36, 72 it will be. And we need to create this portion that is the 44 mm dia from here to top. And then we need to make a holes and all. So for creating that, we need to make a plane exactly over here. That is nothing but we need to make a plane offset from this front not front selecting this plane as a reference click on this plane option and give the distance as 96 it will come top and in the plane click on sketch so now make uh, this outer one which is having a dial 44 so click on the center pushing it and click over here Give the diameter of 44. Now click OK. So from there it is going uh, up to 69 mm. So click on extrude. So no removing. Only we are creating 69. It will go up to last. Like this. So now we need to make holes. That's it. So first uh, we are starting from the bottom. So here we are having a one hole, so clicking on this plane, normal to it, then it is lying exactly on the center, so you can click on this, click on center and push in it and give the diameter as 10 mm. Click OK and then go to extrude, remove material, full. Now this one has completed. So we need to make this hole. So that hole also lies. So here we made one mistake. So this extrusion has to come only one direction and that distance is 36. Like this. So I think in the same sketch, what we have drawn previously, we can create this one also. So go to concentric and select here, push in it, 
and this is having the same dia as like previous so click on equal select this one this one click ok so now it makes the whole overlay so now we need to make uh, holes on this plane so click on this make it normal first create the circle click on concentric select the circle so it will come like this so then escape join this by using lines so then we can trim this off so this one is having a die of 34.9 click on this go to diameter created and this one is having a width of 12 and it comes up to 22.39 from center make it 6 so now it won't go so hold control and select these two lines and click on mirror select the axis then go to trim select this and remove it and in top we need to make circle so click on this concentric place it like this so give the diameter as 10 so now click ok so same extrude remove material reverse up to last so like this the hole will come so same now we need to make a hole on top that is having 22.20 diameter so same concentric click over here question it like this click on this give over 22.9 and click ok so now once again extrude remove material flip direction and this distance is nothing but 69 give the same distance so it will make hole up to here so like this way we have completed the model as exactly mentioned in this 3d so if you have any doubts or something comment below Please subscribe to this channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you.